Nutcracker brings in the magic of the holiday season. I mean, it's really a tradition, isn't it? It is. And yet, wanting to make it fresh each year, Valley, Nebraska adds spectacular updates. And the company's founder and artistic director, Erica Overturf, is back mm -hmm. good to see Erica. And you, we've got a couple dancers that are standing by. They're going to perform for us this morning, so we're excited about that. Yes, we saw them in the green room. How fun was that? <laughs> Watching them warm up. Were they practicing or were they just giving us a show? They were, we were going over You were going over yeah. okay, okay, so we got a quick preview. Uh, why is the Nutcracker such a holiday classic? Well, it has a heartwarming story, and there's a little girl that's a heroine. You know, it's kind of all about her dreams. It surrounds the holiday season, so it's great for families. And then there's such variety to it. The music's fabulous, and there's a lot to see. Mm -hmm. We are looking at video from a past production. And some of these elements will remain. However, you add new things each year. So what are we in for this time around? Well, this time, um, this year, we decided to do a brand new Waltz of the Flowers scene. And it's some of the most iconic music in the ballet. Mm -hmm. It's a big, beautiful scene in Act Two. And so we have all new costumes and choreography for this scene. Mm -hmm. The production continues to get bigger. I, I notice new elements as you kind of look at the video here. Mm -hmm. It's not like testament? it was when we were kids. No, is that yeah. a testament? Well, not only that, but uh, what Ballet Nebraska has been able to accomplish over the last few years. That's right. We always, you know, we're creative people and we have new ideas, so we keep adding things and it's a lot of fun that way. Mm -hmm. yeah. You mentioned the costumes. Maybe we can get a closer look at them shortly. But do you want to perform after, now, uh, our dancers? Let's are you look good after, doing after that the now? Performance. Okay, we'll so what are we going to see here, Erica? So we're just going to see a little snippet from Waltz of the Flowers. We'll see uh, Kelsey is the Dewdrop Fair. And then two of our flowers, but really the scene has many, many flowers and other mm -hmm. characters in it. Wonderful. Ladies, take it away. Okay, can they, classic will song. you all stay put because I want to spend a few minutes on the costumes and Erica talk to us about the detail because when you're sitting yards and yards away from the stage it's hard to to notice some of these intricate details but we can do that here on television. Yes we have beautiful um, bodices custom made for the dancers mm -hmm. out of velvets and silk there's tulle and ruffles there's jewels there's jewelry used to make the headpieces mm -hmm. uh, so each one was so much fun to make. We, this year, what we did is had every flower uh, is a unique flower instead mm -hmm. of a core of all the same. Yeah. So we had a lot of fun with that. Can you talk about the design process. In, in these costumes, you don't send away for these and have them brought <laughs> in. They're made locally here. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, my mom, actually, uh, Debbie, is <laughs> our costume designer. Yeah. And uh, so she, we've had this idea of a new Wells of the Flowers for a while, but she drew up a lot of her ideas, then we worked together to decide who was who and what mm -hmm. was what and the mm -hmm. color variations. And then she's had a couple of fantastic helpers, especially Kristen Harper, um, to help her in constructing the costumes and decorating them. We bought all the jewelry for the headpieces this summer, mm -hmm. so it's a, it's a big work in progress. <laughs> and that goes to show that just for a handful of performances, it takes a large team months of work mm -hmm. to get everything in order, but that's also the quality of the production. You could slap it together and hope nobody <laughs> noticed, but that's not how you yeah, roll. Uh, so when do performances <laughs> begin, Erica? Well, our first show is November 22nd mm -hmm. at Iowa Western Arts Center, so that's a little 
a pre-Thanksgiving treat. <laughs> and then we'll be back at the Orpheum Theater the first weekend in December, December 5th and 6th. Right, a couple different locations. Orpheum's great, though, mm -hmm. uh, to see a performance like this of mm -hmm. this nature. So, best way to get tickets, Erica? Well, you can visit our website, and then we have the ticket information for both venues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, there is some information, as Erica was talking about, the dates, and we have some uh, phone numbers here for you as well if you'd like to call to get tickets. So, we've got this, but also other shows planned throughout the season. Uh, Beyond the Nutcracker, what else is Valley, Nebraska up to? Well, uh, in uh, the winter here, after the Nutcracker, the company will be going to Florida for a couple of tours, mm -hmm. which is really fun. How convenient. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, in the spring, we'll be doing Momentum, our mixed repertory show. Mm -hmm. The theme this year is Go West, and I'm doing a brand new ballet. It's all cowboys and <laughs> Western music, and it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So you're touring in Florida. What, what's, what, what's that consist of, and, and what are you guys going to be doing down there? Well, we have a partnership with Ballet Vero Beach. And it's, this is our third year actually doing it. And so we do different mixed repertory shows and it gives our dancers a lot of variety to perform mm -hmm. different works. Oh, sure. What is the value um, in Omaha of having a professional dance company here? Well, um, you know, we're really the only arts organization of our kind in the area here. And so we bring just the beauty and the culture of dance, as well as educational programming and outreach to the community. Mm -hmm. So we try to reach people in a lot of ways through dance. And right now we're talking about the Nutcracker and those performances can be seen shortly. Two different locations. You've got the Nutcracker, the Iowa Western Arts Center. Uh, that's on November 22nd. And then mm -hmm. you come back to the Orpheum Theater Saturday and Sunday, December 5th and 6th. Tickets are still available for those three shows. All right, ladies, thank you so much. It's great to see you. And Erica, great to have you here. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Great to see you again.